Hey, beloved saints, I'm answering a question. I've gotten quite a few questions. Uh, a lady had done uh, a video uh, claiming my fake movie contract. So some of you asked, hey, what happened to that film you were supposed to do a couple years ago? Well, first of all, I'd like to tell you, <coughs> there are more films that fall through than there are that get made. Um, out of the ones that I put together when I was out in Hollywood... I'd say one out of every ten of my projects actually happened. Uh, even the ones that I actually got funding for. In this particular case, the reason the film didn't go through is our executive producer died. There was a film I made back in 99. Lionsgate actually bought it after Seagal Nasso broke up. They had purchased, that was Steven Seagal's company, they had bought my film, but then they broke up. And it was sold, I think, internationally to Lionsgate. But at that point, uh, I was, uh, I had left. So I'm not sure who has the rights now. I put the trailer for it on my channel and got beat up pretty bad for showing it. It's got some bad language in it. So I try not to talk about too much of that. Um, that's really not my life anymore. I would like to make one about the Lord. But for now... Um, that's gone. So we had a contract. Uh, I had brought in that same director uh, that directed, um, not Ghost Rock, not the Western, but the, the comedy called The Storytellers. His name was James Hickox. He's a wonderful uh, man from England, and he was my director on that film. Well, his mom is an Academy Award winning editor for Lawrence of Arabia and Out of Sight. And she was nice enough to come on as one of the executive producers. Now, we got a contract through a company um, when we went to the American film market. They cut a deal with us and said, you have, I think it was two years, it might have been 18 months, and we got it extended once or twice. But it kept dragging on and on because we couldn't figure out who should play the two female leads. And they were changing, well, do we want this person, but they didn't want to pay that much money, or that person wasn't available. And so it slowed down. Well, she died. The executive producer died. And rather than go ahead and extend the contract yet again, we went ahead and just let it expire. Uh, our director had another film that he was supposed to get done, and then one of the other producers, um, not me, but another one, had another project. So we just went our separate ways. So the film dissolved. It happens. You know, usually when I was in L.A., I would have many film projects going. As a matter of fact, I would take uh, meetings on my movie set. While I was shooting on location, I would take meetings for my next film. To get it going because it took so long to get anything done i would either uh get independent investors and do it myself and then uh make a deal with international and or domestic distributors or we would get our funding from a distributor in this case the contract was for funding through one distributor and that was for foreign and domestic so we went ahead and just let it expire. So uh, I don't like to talk too much about my business, but a couple of years ago I was saying, yeah, it looks like we're going to be leaving in November. We were fighting to keep the film shot in the United States. They wanted, for tax purposes, uh, to take it outside of the country. It was for better um, labor, lower labor costs, and then we'd have a tax right off as well um georgia has one that's 30 percent. so for every million you spend you actually get three hundred thousand dollars in tax refunds or rebates so that's what we were working on and instead of to continue it we just moved on to other things so that's what happened to the project i never bothered telling you guys what was going on because it just you know dissolved and i don't really want to make secular films anymore uh, I've been focusing on the ministry and raising my son, uh, and you guys know I have health issues, so traveling abroad for any length of time would be very dangerous for me. So to answer some of the viewers, that's what happened. It's not the contract was fake. 
I, I find it interesting, Renee and her fake movie kind. Con- Which one is it? And I'm am I a liar, a Hollywood Satanist making movies to corrupt the world, or I'm am I just a fraud? Because I can't be both, and I'm accused of it. It's like when it suits them, they call me one or the other. So, it, in all honesty, it won't matter. What I do, I will be accused and hate it, and that's okay, but for viewers that want to know the truth, I'm happy to tell you. It's just, I I don't remember saying that I'm good. I don't remember saying I preach Renee. I don't remember saying, believe me without a doubt. I tell you to check scripture. I tell you to stand on God's word. Don't believe everything I say. Go ahead and check. Double check with scripture to make sure uh, that's what God's word says. Don't trust anybody. But when it comes down to someone that doesn't know the industry, that doesn't know me personally, you know, puts a video out calling me a flat-out liar. Well, how do you know? Did you call the unions? Did you call my attorneys? Did you call uh, the Screen Actors Guild to see if maybe I had done a contract that's set up with it? Did you check IMDb? Because, by the way, you've got to have a union affiliate to even have your film mentioned on that website. It has to be a legitimate already distributed film or have a union contract so uh no they did none of these things they just called me a flat out liar so uh you you can call me that but if you are a viewer and you want it to know what happened i'm telling you what happened our executive producer died and instead of going back to try to get the contract extended for another six months to two years we just went ahead and let it dissolve we couldn't seem to pull everything together in time and after my director lost his mom he was going to spend some time in england and we just weren't going to move forward that's all i've had a lot of films not get done that were in the works You know, it's just the way it works. So, anyway, I hope I answered your questions. God bless.